at on Pinoy yung nasa likod namin. So, nakakayang mag-vlog. <laughs> We're supposed to meet a little earlier, like lunchtime, like 12, ganyan. But so brand tagal niya. And <laughs> it's not his fault because he he has a shoot. But yeah, and tagal niya. Sobra niya. Gugutom na ako. Ang lalat grabe. Anyways, I'll see him very soon. So nag message na sa akin ng poya mo at nasa Toronto na daw siya. So I just have to wait for him. It's already like what? 2.45. Mag hello ka na lang. Hello! So we're doing a vlog, actually most awaited vlog, most awaited vlog. So we're gonna be talking about our Canadian, <laughs> Canadian student, student life. Like, like journey, how we journey. Able to, how we were able to come here. Lang, merong, may mga pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're planning to buy anything or any food that related to Canada, technically. We're gonna be eating poutine. Uh, maybe food from A and W for our lunch, and then we're gonna have coffee from Second Cup. Second Cup. Second Cup, and maybe donuts. some donuts from Timmy's or Tim Hortons. Yeah. So far, yun pala yun isip namin. Yeah. And. And it's kind of a long walk. And it's <laughs> super hot today. It's super hot. Um, excuse me. Yeah, actually, I'm famous dito. Can you sorry, like? Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm famous dito. Um, Chinese food. So I'm not sure, but it's actually like the Chinatown in Toronto. So we're heading to Smokes. We're waiting for <laughs> We haven't been to Smokes Poutinery and we haven't tried Smokes Poutine. Does that so make sense? We the, the traditional the one. Traditional. Actually, this is Kuya. He's actually Parang, busy. I don't know my customer is coming But literally, we're waiting for him to finish his shenanigans. <laughs> so, comment down below if you guys have tried Putin, the Philippines, and other countries, because I'm sure it's an international hit. Are you excited to try your poutine? So we're waiting for the we're waiting for the streetcar because we can't walk. Now it's gonna be a 16-minute walk going to A W. So we decided to take a streetcar. Yeah. So when you have a press and you have um and you avail the pass. Uh, that's gonna save you a couple of dollars and then no yeah so for him since he's not on uh, on the pass two hours na yung limit sa kanya so within that two hours wherever he goes it's free or like he's not gonna be charged twice or anything like that Anyways, our next stop will be um, A and W. So we're actually here now. Yeah, first time you might get A There's no A and W. There's no A and W. I don't know. It's the Philippines. So yeah. Oh really? We go with God burgers. I got um, beef patty. The one with the beef patty. And he got um, chicken, chicken, and root beer. I think it's always been a partner, no? Yeah. Root beer for A and W. Super duper hot. We need some coolness in our lives. Thank you. So we just came from. Tim Hortons. 
and get uh, maple donuts and iced coffee. Hello! Hello, Kanaman! Hello, Kanaman! Yeah, so we're here sa Nathan Phillips. It's one of the famous tambayan. Yeah, tambayan sa Toronto. So, we're gonna have our first meal of the day. It's already 4.57. Four, and it's, it's our first super meal. sunny, yeah, super, super hot. Super sunny pa din because it's summer. So anyway, so this, as I said kanina, or earlier, um, this is the most awaited of vlog. Of, Hopefully. Of, <laughs> of all time. So, yeah, so we're going to be answering um, questions about uh, how we were able to go here, how we were able to process our documents and stuff, and what made us maybe decide on going to Canada. Because there are options. There are Australia, there are New Zealand, in Canada. So yeah. what made us decide to go? Oh, ako na una pala ako than, than him. So, okay. Yeah, a year earlier. A year earlier. Actually, a year earlier. So he's, he arrived here August. August 10, 2019. Today? Today? Uh, yeah, this so is August 10, 2020. Today. And I arrived here August 24. So hopefully, by the time that I posted, actually, hopefully by 24th of August, the post will be para may pa second annual tayo maganapan. So we went to different Canadian store. Canadian store? Or something re mga related to Canada. Canada. So we went una sa Smokes Patina. Smokes Patina. Yeah. So we got the uh, traditional traditional poutine. <laughs> and then we head next to so gravy, um gravy I cheese think. and fries. Yun lang. Gravy cheese and simple. fries. Simple. Simple pero that's their simple pero mal. So fries na ganun ganun gravy. Anyways, <laughs> next one we went to A and W. Na apparently meron pala sa Philippines. It was actually part ng US hata before and then for some reason naging part siya ng Unilever and then naging part ng ANW Food Services of Canada that's why wala na siyang association with the other outside, outside ANW stuff like that this is not sponsored yeah so it's <laughs> sponsored okay. and then we were planning to get dapat ano um second cup coffee pero no, it was wait. Close. we got chubby chicken oh sorry chubby we got chicken. chubby chicken <laughs> <laughs> May tumubi kasi sa amin, na yan ang mag vlog. Anyways, we, we got burger. Yeah, mozza, mozza, mozzarella burger. Kasi gutom na talaga ako sa opera. And then, ayan, umalis na ulit sila. <laughs> and then, finally, the ever ever super duper famous Tim Hortons. Which I don't coffee. really like, but this would cup. suffice for now. Yeah, maybe we're gonna try and buy a second, second cup. cup. It was close eh, sa even center. And then the donut, the maple donut. Kin low namin kasi dinadapuan ng ng bee. Eh. Bee, because okay. it's maple. It's super sweet. Okay. So yeah, so the purpose of this vlog is to answer questions about how we got here, why we decided to come here, and what. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, but mm, he posted a poll before on his Instagram at Rob Sarte. Me Junior Ben. Rob Sarte. At Rob Sarte. And from what I know, photographer. By Rob Sarte. By Rob Sarte. And if you're in Canada, GTA specifically, we also sell. Mmm, <laughs> Pan and yeah. Park Plus. It's Park good. Plus. Anyways, to get. Super sunny now. Yeah, he posted a a poll asking like questions you want to know how like for example um how's the life in here as an international student um how did we end up choosing canada and yeah, stuff so, like that so the reason why we finally put up a vlog about it because many people ask us about the process like yeah the reason why we came here and how we got here and malapit na so we have a lot it's out of our hands now. <laughs> yeah, but, but this vlog won't really talk about like the technical stuff, but more on. What? More on just the general um things you have to know. But in terms of like, for example, how to fill up forms, like forms, no, what to put in this form, what to put in this stats, yeah. Because it's very. What do you call that? Objective? Very objective. And then. Um, 
you can find it online you still have to follow um it's listed there i think tapos um we can we can't also disclose Maybe how much we spend. Yeah, like we can give you a range, but it it, it changes our advice. The kind of course it changes then every case year. Case to yeah. So maybe yeah, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about first. Um, what made us decide to go to Canada? So we have questions from our friends and some. Like, mm -hmm. So we have questions from. Our <laughs> so um we uh uh. Actually, there's some they're, they're, that are really, really relevant and I think um, worth answering. Yeah. Okay, so kaya lang yun yung mga walang kwaid ng tanong na yun. AKA Renzo Atos at Jovi Lim. Jovi Lim, nag nag name drop. <laughs> what made us decide to study again? Yeah, what made us decide to go to Canada to study again? Study again. Yeah, so ako muna sige. Um, uh, bukod sa mas maganda yung sun dito. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, first of all, kasi, I think, um, nag, nag, um, nami kasi yung mga tambay dito, nami yung mga, ano, yeah, so downtown, mas pa siya. Downtown, downtown, downtown talaga, like, ang daming, una, <laughs> so, una, so, 2018 yon, and then I was scrolling sa Facebook, and then I saw this ad na study in Canada, Australia, New Zealand. And then I got interested because I really want to study again. After two years of working, feeling ko, I needed to go back to school. Kasi parang wala, it's routine na eh. When you start working, parang, for me, parang medyo routine na, and I, I wanted something new to do, some new learning then to, uh, to acquire. So, it's a free seminar. I went to Ayala. And then, free lang naman. So, nakinig ako. I got overwhelmed with the price and everything. So, I went to their main office and then talked to them personally so that I can ask um, questions directly. Like, things that are unclear, unclear for me. And then, after noon, um, I told it to my parents. And then, they were like, super shocked because it's really, really expensive. It's not a joke. The amount na mas spend mo, it's not really a joke. But, I want to study. They want me to work abroad for better... Um, life, ganyan, ganyan. We know our parents naman, ganun talaga sila. So, eventually, napapayad ko sila. And then, yeah, here I am. Nasa Canada na ako. So, bahad mm -hmm. Canada? but nga ba? Uh, I think Australia kasi, it was um, too expensive. Yung education sa Australia, it's too expensive. And then, um, New Zealand naman, feeling ko sobrang daming baka dun tao. So, basically, that's it. So, I decided to go to Canada. And so, yeah, no, really. And I think I got excited to winter because I've never been out of the country or I've never spent mm -hmm. Christmas out of country or even experienced different season. So, ngayon, medyo ni regret ko na yung winter, pero I'm still loving Canada so far. Yeah. Ikaw, what made you decide to go to Canada? Oh, no, man. Mm. To follow her. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> Ko yung ikaw. <laughs> Ito yung sa akin sa Canada. <laughs> Bad influence. So why did you decide to... Okay, I'm gonna oh, study again. again. Kasi... They, I wanted to study again talaga kasi... No, okay. So, what gave, what gave you an idea to go to Canada? Go to Canada. Kasi kaka-graduate niya lang. So parang for me, bakit ka mag Canada? So, ba't mo naisip na? Yeah, actually, okay. naisip kong mag-Canada, nag-aaral pa ako nun. Mm. I was on my last semester. It was mga December, November, November, December noon. 2018. 2018. Yeah, like alam ko kasi may 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 kahalala ako nandoon. So parang and my sister ako doon and so parang mas mas ano lang. Mas sure ako na Canada talaga at kasi ibang countries. Kasi Toronto talaga. Parang ano siya, parang beating ground ng ng creatives ng mga ganon mga ganong aspect, I think his I think his reason uh, we we'll, we we'll focus more on the course like even though yeah more on course talaga meron merong advertising sa Philippines sa sa Lasal merong advertising pero kasi like yung yung program ko nung nung college 
sobrang layo sa program ko. Hindi naman sobrang layo. Like, hindi talaga, hindi siya aligned directly sa program ko dito. Eh, pero yung freelance ko kasi, kasi I also do freelance photography. And I thought I wanted, eh, parang gusto ko pa more than photography, I guess. And advertising talaga, interest. It's quite Actually, interesting me. Mm -hmm. Actually, yung reason niya, I think, it was more on like, why not? Mm -hmm. Right? Like, and my why sister's not? Here, if so. you can afford it, then why not? More on, more on that kind of aspect. Like, I think he doesn't have to give a deeper Wala reason. Wala namang deeper, no deeper, deeper reason, reason. Like. It just, um, it just worked out for him. Like, mm -hmm. um, nandito yung, nandito yung like my kapatid, parents uh, were supportive of yeah. it. Kasi, and, hindi ko talaga sinabi sa nila. <laughs> agad na na naisip kong mag-aral. I mean, na-mention na nila dati nung nag-visit ako dito. Na-mention na rin sister ko na after college mag-aral ka dito. And I think there's nothing that will make him stop naman. Like, where the, there are more pros than cons for him. Because her sister, oh sorry, his sister is here and uh, his parents are supportive and he likes the course being offered and he has yeah. nothing to worry about rent and stuff, so why not? So I think it revolves around that reason more than what you know what I actually yeah, so, um, yeah, said. Yeah, so major dif different talaga yung reason kung bakit kami dito. Yeah. Um, the process. Okay, next question is the process. So, um, the first off, siya nag agency siya. Yeah. Ako sarili. Sarili siya. So I met major in the. Sobrang iba talaga. So I was there. Um. Um, right after I actually, right after I went to their office, I told it to my my mom and dad because they didn't know, they didn't know I had a plan because I felt like it's gonna be jinx. So I didn't tell it to them until kailangan ng finance, kailangan ng pera, guys. So kailangan ng pera, okay? We're not saying we're rich. It's just that kailangan siyang pagendahan. No, requirement talaga to, siya. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to be rich. I don't think so because no, no. we're not rich. But um, make sure you have. Just have money to money like, risk and to um like money. Mm, <laughs> Hindi lang siya money imaginary. Show. Yeah, so um I know that's the tough part because it's really a big sum of money. It's a big lump talaga. So um now na ako nag agency ako and there's also payment for agency. Okay, so there's a lot of agencies na nag offer na study abroad. So um I started processing my papers. Ni require muna nila ako magtake ng IELTS because during my time IELTS was really important. Cause that's your panlaban when you go to the embassy, and also um, it shows more of your intention to go abroad. But now I think this year they removed the IELTS uh, requirement. Yeah, they did. They removed it now. But you know, um, taking the test will still show more of your intention. So they still recommend you to take the test, kahit na um, hindi na siya super mandatory. Okay, so the first, so Feb, Feb, I think I booked uh, an exam for my IELTS, and then uh, it took me like maybe like two weeks sata to get the results. And then after that, um, I have my IELTS na. I applied for a school that I want. So. Um, once you've applied, you've chosen your course. I chose ECE, so Early Childhood Education. Also because I've been working with Kedzanya Manila for quite some time and I, I found some, you know, nagkaroon ako ng parang uh, love for like children and stuff. So apparently, dito din in Canada, child care gets a little in demand then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So... It worked all together. So, I've, so first of all, you have to look for a course and you have to look for a school. And then, if you found a school, you have to apply for 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 that school. And then they will send you an LOA or letter of acceptance. Letter of acceptance. And then once you have that, parang a big percentage is done. Because you have your LOA and you also have your IELTS. So, there's can a reason to go to Canada because the school has accepted you. And you don't need to enter the entrance exam. Or, yeah. Like, we There's didn't take any like entrance exam. Yeah. And by the way, we didn't take, we didn't take masters. I didn't take masters. No, no. Because it's kind of not in Canada. If you want masters, you go to Australia. I think Australia will offer you 
mas maraming options for masters. And dito kasi... Meron nun, meron. Pero... Mm, it's really a tedious process, yung masters dito. So, more on post-grad or post-secondary. I took post-secondary, so parang diploma course ulit. Like, post-secondary oh, no? oh, also. Post-secondary din pala siya. Two years. So, same as mine. So, yeah. And then, after ng school, and after yung school, you process the document. So, listed doon yung mga IM number, choo -choo -choo -choo, IM number, choo -choo -choo. Yeah, yung forms and then, na talaga. Yeah, that, those are the forms. And then, you have to know and you have to document then yung ginawa mo for the last 10 years like your, you had a vacation history, like, work kapito, like everything that happened within that 10 years you have to include it in the form and then yeah so when you have all the documents na approved na siya no oh frenny oh frenny oh frenny there's a B but pag na approved na siya no agency ko or yung nag-aasikasi no paper ko they will actually um send you uh, a request for medical mm -hmm. so pag nag medical ka na may fee din yung medical mind you may fee din yung medical and as I, as I said tumataas siya every year so the more you delay I'm not saying you have to come here na but the more you delay I just expect na um, expenses be will become more expensive so you have to do medical so you have to make sure okay yung medical nyo especially now na may COVID they can be a little strict and your diploma pala you also have like to get your documents from your high school and college yeah so like you you need to show them uh, your high school or your college they both use um, English as a medium of communication right parents kasi it's gonna give them more intent na okay marunong ko mag English and um, I can actually uh, adapt to the language of the country and then after that pag na-launch ko na na-approve na nung lawyer so by the way pag may agency they have lawyers fee so that's the purpose so may bayad din yung lawyers fee ko and it's just to make sure na you know less chances of your papers to get um denied so or rejected so yun i submitted it and then june i remember after yung birthday ko i submitted my documents and i have to wait for one month to see if um makukuha ko na yung visa ko so august kasi june last week yun eh so the whole month of July until the first week of August, uh, that was waiting time, and then I got my visa August. And then August, I booked na agad ako ng plane ticket, and it's gonna be expensive because agad agad ka magbook. So I booked a uh, ticket like three or two weeks after I got my my uh, my my approval or my my visa, and then yeah, I arrived here na. Hmm. So that was the process. So technically, agency can allow can make your processing a little easier, easier. because wala ka na masyadong iisipin because they do it for you but you still have re your respective responsibilities yeah. so for me i did everything by myself which, <laughs> which i'm very proud ang galing like you know it, it, it could save me money yeah yeah yun talaga yung reason like kasi sobrang expensive uh i attended the seminar a consultation sa agency niya just to have an, an overview, idea. an idea of what to expect, the application, the Canada, and everything else. And when I, uh, when I attended the consultation, they also, siempre mentioned the fees involved. And na kalula siya, eh. kasi siempre yung money na ibibigay mo sa agency could be allotted sa iba pang um, expenses mo expenses, going like, here. Take right? And ako kasi may experience na ako sa pag-process ng visa, travel visa to be specific. So kaya may idea na ako kung paano, like, yeah, travel visa to Canada, mm. ganyan-ganyan. Yeah, yun din. I think, I haven't been out of the country kasi. And siya kasi, namamasyal masyal naman siya. So ako, I was super scared and it was my first flight alone. So I, ha I really have no idea at all. Even my parents have no idea because we don't, we don't really travel. We don't do leisure for tra travel for leisure. Mm. So... Yo, in the process, I started researching mga last quarter talaga ng 2018. I started looking for schools. Yun, last quarter then I asked my sister for suggestions. And so next start ako IELTS. IELTS muna. Medyo minadali ko siya kasi gusto ko na ma-process siya. Oh, agad. By the way, sorry to cut you, but this I his IELTS was um computer based. Computer based. And mine yeah. The only offer they paper, had was paper-based. Because it depends the center. 
kung saan ka mag-aisa. And my center offers... I did Village Council, by the way. Computer. Ako, uh, IDP. IDP, yeah. IDP. My friend messaged me earlier asking um, if ano difference in paper-based and computer-based. Like, you know, stuff that they have to know. And British Council siya. So I think nauna lang yung IDP to offer um, computer-based. But I think British Council offers it. Yeah. Offers, offers oh, it for sure. For sure, yeah. Um, yun. IELTS, nag-start ako IELTS, nag-review ako online, YouTube, ganyan. I didn't attend review center. Based na rin naman sa experience namin sa, sa English language, I guess. Kaya naman siya, na online lang. And it took me about a month of review bago ko nag-exam. Nag yeah, kasi syempre, ang mahal nung ano really eh. Mahal ng IELTS eh. You so, don't wanna feel it, that's why people don't take review. Pag bumagsaka, they take so yeah, I review ko online and then when I had the confidence not to take the exam, I booked na exam. I took an exam uh, January 26, 2019 sa IDP Ortigas and then you know, a week after me, uh, ganun, I got the result na and I got naman pretty, pretty well. Yeah, because so, sometimes your school has a certain band that you have to reach. I think. Mm -hmm. Most schools, they will have to get six seven. and above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six. six and above. You want nurses and some professionals, you have to get seven oh. and above. Um, for study permit, dapat uh, IELTS academic. Yeah, there are two classes. General kinds of, and academic. Sure. Yeah, there are two kinds of IELTS. Mm. General training. General and academic. academic. So for study, academic dapat. Because there are different scopes. And it's a little more challenging now than GT because I yeah, haven't tried actually, GT. Yeah, but yeah. you have to try GT Sometimes. then once you're in, in your journey of getting your ER. ER you have to do a GT work IELTS. Permit. Okay. So after IELTS, I applied na sa schools. So ako hindi ako nag-apply directly. Like hindi ako nag-apply yun directly. Kung nag-apply ako sa Ontario Colleges, that's EA. Because parang I found it cheaper kasi like 100 bucks ano na siya like 3 schools na pwede ka pumili ng 3 schools 5 programs in total so yun tapos after that um, nag request na rin ako ng documents sa Lasal sa school mga TOR mga ano pa ba yun TOR medium of instruction and then uh, yun, mga, mga feb, mga feb dumating na yung mga acceptance, le acceptance letters, yung mga LOA. There's this um, homeless girl who asked for change. Milkshake. Actually, milkshake yung inini niya. I tried offering her fries. I don't know fries. It's niya milkshake. Kasi talaga choose yung mga... Uh... Ice coffee nga lang kami. <laughs> we wanted milkshake.